this video, we're going to look at how we can add and subtract polynomials. We've added polynomials before, but we called it something different. When we were adding polynomials before, we called it combining like terms. We know if the variables and exponents match, we can add and subtract the coefficients or the numbers in front. Subtracting polynomials is really similar with one extra step. We must first distribute the negative. Then we're able to add and subtract the like terms. So for example, if we have the polynomial 5x squared minus 7x plus 9, and we add to it the polynomial 2x squared plus 5x minus 14, we start looking for like terms. We've got an x squared in both polynomials, so 5 plus 2 gives us 7x squareds. There's also an x in both polynomials, so negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2 of these x's. There's also a 9 and a negative 14. The constants with no variables are like terms. 9 minus 14 is negative 5. We have now added the polynomials together to get 7x squared minus 2x minus 5. The second polynomial, again, is very similar. We're just subtracting these two polynomials. When we're subtracting polynomials, that means we must first distribute that negative onto each term, essentially changing the sign of each term. The first polynomial then stays the same as 3x cubed minus 4x plus 7. The second polynomial, though, distributing the negative, the opposite of 8x cubed is negative 8x cubed. The opposite of 9x is negative 9x. And the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. Now we simply have to go through and identify the like terms. 3x cubed is like the negative 8x cubed. That gives us negative 5x cubed. The negative 4x is like the negative 9x. Negative 4 and negative 9 is negative 13x. And finally, 7 plus 2 is 9. When we subtract the polynomials, we get negative 5x cubed minus 13x plus 9. Again, to add polynomials, we simply combine like terms. And then to subtract the polynomials, we have to first distribute the negative and then combine like terms.